Hello and welcome today. We're checking out Ultimate Adam Caverns of Chaos. This is being developed by Thomas Biscop and published by Ensemble Entertainment, who is sponsoring this video. Thank you very much. All right, so Adam, uh, you're probably familiar with it. If you're familiar with roguelikes, Adam has been around for quite a long time. I've done a few videos of it on the channel before in the past. Uh, Ancient Domains of Mystery is what it what it stands for. Basically, it's your traditional roguelike. You grab a sword, you grab a shield or a staff, whatever you want. You charge into the dungeon and hack and slash your way in there until you die, and then you do it over again. Uh, well, this is a sequel to that one, being developed by the same dev. Uh, it is an early access. I'll put links to the Steam page below, and you can check the thing out. But uh, we're going to do that today. We're going to suit up a character and charge into this um, friendly cave uh, today. So we have predefined characters if you want, with tutorials. I just want to do a custom character, though, and show off the character customization, because that's a big part of this. Uh, we can see what all we can we can do here before we before we charge into the depths. Um, so there's a bit of a story here where I guess the world was like overrun with evil and and we we managed to vanquish the evil. But now we've got several different factions here. We've got the good guys. We've got the, the nature folks. We've got the dwarves. We have the evil folks uh, that that all want to uh, you know reclaim this place in their name. And so we're choosing which faction we want to be a part of. Um, but right now, there's not a whole lot of variety other than you can see the qualities that they have. Um, this one, for instance, we get more perception and willpower if we choose the nature folks. Uh, align the balance and evil with the uh, the mad minstrel here. Uh, the last dwarven empire, very appealing to me. Um, however, we there's a few things I want to show off as far as the way the casting and all that works. So we're going to stick with someone that gives a bit more options there. And more gold, I guess, for these guys. Let's go with, well, let's go with the mad minstrel. He looks happy. All these voices, so many voices. Such a complicated song. Yeah, yeah. Uh, gender. So what this does for us is it gives us a different quality, right? right? Plus two strength, dex, uh, toughness, and willpower. Uh, we can go all the way down to tentacled if we want for more toughness. Sure, why not? Uh, also race, elf, human, dwarf, and ratling. Again, um, dwarves will give us two hit points per 20 turns. Rats give us hit points and, and mana. Uh, we'll stick with the mountain dwarves. Of course we will. Uh, we have adventurers, archers, adventurers, jack of all trades. Um, I think we'll go with the priest today. A bit more mana, more willpower. Yeah, yeah. Let's do that so we can show off a couple things. So, there's a lot of varieties we can do here with our uh, with our, our developing animancy, for instance. So all these things, uh, we have like two points right now. We can put a point into animancy, which allows us to insole an item. I dabbled with this a bit in my test game, uh, and I I I animated a sword. That was just laying on the ground, and it ran around and started hacking up little goblins. So that's, and you can go all the way down this tree in doing that. Animate things in line of sight, greater animate things, whatever. Uh, and there's a lot of, of things in here. Um, and we get to choose a few, a few of them. So, animacy, for instance, we've got grafting also, which I'm, I'm curious about, because it allows you to magically attach one body part of the caster's size to the caster's body. So, um... Yeah, there you go. Gra graphs an amputated body part taken from your backpack to your body. I mean, that sounds like something I want. So, we also have a hydromancy, which is like cold stuff and water stuff. Uh, and pyromancy is fireballs and burning hands and all that, which is uh, appealing as well. But you know what? If you give me the option to slap on a few more hands or heads, I will take it. So, we'll grab that one. Uh, this one gives me more toughness. This one gives me more protection. This one, butcher corpses to retrieve all body parts suitable for potential grafting. Sure, sure. I'll take it. All right, mundane skills. Uh, anything's mundane after that. But I think we'll go with athletics, which gives more strength. Uh, we got literacy to read scrolls. Stealth, if we want to sneak around places. No, no, no. We're just going to go with some strength, I think. Yeah. We're going to go hack and slash. Hack and slash and, and then slap those slashes onto our body. Um, uh, so, I think martial skills, we're gonna go with, uh, quarter staves, I think I want, um, man, I don't know, pole arms? Pole arms, that'd be kinda cool. Yeah, let's go with pole arm. Each practice pole arm increases the damage you deal with it. Yep, more damage, sure, sure. And then one more point here, we can go with free attack against any enemy entering weapon range. I like the sound of that as well. Okay, uh, we picked those already. So now we can go heavy body armor, any kind of body armor here. Shield mastery. No, we're gonna have two arm, two hands on this thing. So let's take. Yeah, we'll go heavy armor. Um, forty percent chance to reduce a critical hit to a non-crit when wearing heavy armor. I like it. 
reduces the encumbrance gained from wearing heavy armor. Sure, we'll do that one, and we can move up as we get more points, as we level up. Uh, divine skills, we got curing, which is healing ourselves. We are a priest, so that's a cure wounds, stop bleeding. Uh, the plant domain gives us poison thorns, and I think mostly, I think it's mostly, yeah, it's th oh, thorns, armor of thorns spell. Um, divine shield, bark skin with a protection. Smiting is, is cause wounds. Weather domain, light, uh, jump range. Yeah, well, I kind of like the sound of this, uh, bark skin. What can we do here? Your divine attunement will allow you to survive harsher blows. Oh, just more armor. Gain resistance to both physical and mental afflictions. This one is just gives me divine shield. I got bark skin already. I think I'm going to go with, um, yeah, hardy flesh. I like it. Okay, I think it's everything, right? We're all leveled up? Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's go in there. Uh, my name, my name is Nook. Okay. Let's enter the dungeon. And, and, uh, and slaughter some goblins. Song of Madness and Damnation. You can't quite hear, you can't quite address the goals you will receive from me after we get further into early access. Um, okay, so yeah, each of these, I think the way this is going to work is each of these factions will give you different quests. From what I read on the Steam page, it sounds like, um... You'll get different quests, and I guess the quests will affect things later on, and, and I guess this will be a little bit of divert, uh, uh, of dynamic questing going on once it gets done. I don't think any of the factions have quests yet, though. But, um, yeah, interesting uh, aspect there. Um, okay, so, there is me. Uh, uh, well, you can see, there I am, right there. This is you, Mountain Dwarf Priest, level 1. Um, all my stats are over there on the side. And everything that I'm wearing is right here. We've got armor, we've got a, a, a mace... A holy symbol. I've got a ultra healing essence, uh, and then some scrolls of power, scroll of repair, and all my stuff goes on over here when we pick it up. Uh, I got skills. We saw those before. I got spells. Those two. Uh, a diary, notes, quests, body, and let's just sort of. Oh yeah, check this out. Check it out. Oh yeah. And then if this isn't enough for you, let me go just hack my way through here. We'll tear up that mushroom there. That's corruption. Stay away from that. Um. Smash some, some stuff around. We'll pick up some gold here. More treasure. More gold. Okay. Um, a purple crystal. I'll smash it. Oh, we shouldn't smash this. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's go bounce up here and grab some coins off the ground. Okay. Now, if, if this isn't enough for you, you're thinking, you know what? I love a good roguelike, but I need some ASCII. Well, let me provide you with some ASCII so we can bounce around like that if we want. And, you know, ASCII style. And if you're like, you know what? I like ASCII. But what I really want is 3D ASCII. Well, there you go. It's there. So, <laughs> I don't know who wants 3D ASCII, but there's there's some out there for sure. All right, let's go back to, uh, to pretty mode. And tell this goblin what we think of him. Uh, so we can see him all the other. He's a, he's a male goblin rock thrower. He is chaotic evil, which means there's only one thing we can do with him. Uh, and, that's, and that's hack him up and take his body parts if we can. Now I come over here and I can right click... We can butcher the guy. Let's just take his stuff first. Uh, now, there is a thing about, like, we don't want to take everything because we do have an encumbrance, so we're not going to grab everything off the ground. There's a lot of just random junk here. Um, I'm going to butcher the guy. I don't carry anything that can't, that could be butchered for body. Oh, oh, I don't have, a, like, a knife or something. Ooh, okay. I just have my spear and a mace. What if I take that axe? Does that work? Can I butcher with an axe? Oh, I guess I'll have to find myself a sword. That's a, oh, a little kitty. A wildcat. Uh, arrows, short bow. Eh, who cares? Okay, let's uh, let's wait a minute. Take down the cat. Take that cat. Cat. I think we can go also in that mode. Yeah, top-down mode, if you want to do that way. Oh, poor cat. Take out this this uh, this bat here. Just sort of hack our way through here. Just level one. It's easy. Hack our way through this place. Uh, he's gonna whip, does he? I'll take your whip. Uh, and you got some nice boots there too. Can I wear those boots? Small. Uh, I don't think I'm small, am I? Let's take a look. Can I wear these? Nope. So we'll drop those things. Um, put those on the ground, and uh, I don't want your rags either, buddy. He's stuck over there. So it is a randomly, you know, randomly uh, done dungeon and all that. I'll take that. Take that, buddy. What you got? Ooh, a hat. I'll take your hat. It's a medium-sized hat as well. 
I will put it on my... Oh, I already got one. We're looking. A lot of things in here can be... Um, uh, enchanted, as you can see, this one it can be engraved with up to two runes. I've started with runes before, not this time. Uh, but we'll find runes along the way. We can we can strap on the stuff to uh, to make us a little bit cooler. Shield we don't care about. Another bow we don't care about. Oh, are you a friend? Not on my watch. There we go. We got him. Uh, what I really need is a uh, well, I guess a knife uh, and a, and a polearm of some kind. Let's kind of see this thing. Oh, you know that. What is that? Somebody's writing on the walls. We can't, like, bash this stuff if we wanted to, uh, to hit the wall. I guess we have much of it better. We, maybe I can actually something. We can, like, bash through the walls. Let's go look over here. I can also click to move around. What is that? A deep body of water. Oh, it's just a... Weird. I can, I can throw my potion on there if we want to. No, we're not going to do that. Go over here. Bounce up this way. More water. We found the sewers. Oh, hello. Who are you? Male bandit. Take that. Hey, we got a knife. I will take your knife. You got a long sword too, which is a D20. Uh, I got a spear. I'm I'm all for the pole arm, so we'll keep that. Uh, I'm gonna drop this this whip. Uh, I do want your knife though. Does this allow me to butcher? I'm gonna guess so. I'm gonna hack that thing up. We're going to any. Um, there's no corpses on the ground here. Occasion. Oh, there we go. We got a rock rock thrower corpse there. So let's um, let's get dirty. No. Oh. Okay, I have that. No. Okay. Well, I'm gonna butcher some things. What you got there? Some gloves. I don't think I have any gloves. Um, gods. I don't. Yeah, I'll take those. I'll put them on. There we go. Let's wait here. Smack that guy around. Take that. And an iron spear, which I have right now. An iron spear, so it's no different than what I've got. Three runes. Three runes. Yeah, yeah, same thing. Okay, I'll take some treasure. Uh, I will take a... No, no, no. I don't need that. These things up. I'll take your cash and more cash. Let's go look over here. Okay, just you wait, buddy. As soon as I get something to cut you up, I will. Uh, you know what it might be? I might need to uh, not be carrying. Ooh, I'll take a bandage. I might need to not have mm. my um, spear in hand. Take that. Uh, so if I were to put in... What is that? A piece of raw meat? Uh, is it any good? Plus one armor. 16 size points. Whatever. This is the same thing, basically. One rune can be engraved. One rune. I mean, it's just kind of cool because it's, it's blue. I like that. I'll throw that on the ground. Uh, and I want to... I'm going to equip my, my short... My, my knife. Just real quick. I'm going to do a test here. I find a body. Yep. I'm going to butcher it up. I carry anything that could be butchered for body parts. What do I do? Oh, I have to put it in my... Oh, okay. I have to carry it and then butcher it. Yeah, that guy right there. Um, yeah, everything. Just chop him up. Oh. <laughs> okay. 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 Uh, do too delicate to graft. Too delicate to graft. Oh, come on now. What else we got? Are they all too delicate? Too delicate. Okay, we gotta find someone a little more um not delicate. Okay, okay. No problem. Gives us something gives us some goals. Maybe we'll find like a an ogre or something. Ooh, hello. Hello, rattling. There's a lot of you. Oh, this is the end of the level guy. And the first level guy, anyway. Ouch. Hey, take that. Uh, you know what? I, do I have, what kind of spells do I have? Let's do a spell. I will cast Bark Skin on myself. Here we go. I didn't watch to see what that did to me. I 
Okay, level two. Excellent. Ooh, there's a cape on the ground there. I'll take it. Uh, what do we got here? Ooh, yeah, I do want that. Uh, anything else of, of, of notes? Hooded cloak. So I just picked up, didn't I? I got two of them now. Yeah, I don't want that. Oh, I've got one right now anyway. Well, all right. All right, we'll drop that. We'll drop that one also. Uh, anything of, uh, of, of interest here? Ooh, Chaos Rune. I'll take that for sure. That's what we can throw into our things. Uh, a light cloak, which we've already got. Well, ours is hooded anyway. Shield. Eh. None of that. Um, any of you want to be butchered? Like a rattling. A rattling would love to be butchered, I assume. Can you not be butchered? Alright, fine. So I'll put you down. Um, now this rune we can put into our stuff. So like the split mail can carry up to two runes. Um... Let's just put it into... Like, let's put it into our gloves. Those gloves are cool. So now they are plus three armor, minus two protection. Didn't necessarily do us any good, but it was a chaos run, I guess. Uh, hey, buddy. Uh, hail the adventurer. Thou hast cast... Thou hast been chosen by fate to alter its course. Empower thee, I shall to do that. Receiveth my gift, so thou art able to harvest energy from the very fabric of reality. Use this gift wisely and choose with path. Okay. So, uh, you'll only be able to harvest the very essence of reality from items in order to fuel your health, magical powers, and knowledge. So, basically, what he's going to do is... This guy's always here in the first level. We can go in here. Um, okay, uh, we'll see that here. We'll go over here. And so, what we can do is we can either harvest these items on the ground for more power or more experience points. Interesting, because I played before as a fighter, and, it, and the only option was... Um, the only option was hit points. So this is sort of a, you know, there's, there's junk all over the place. This treasure we've got laying around that we're not using. We can just turn it into experience. Orcish Iron Battle Axe. That sounds good. I'm, I mean, uh, I'm a, I'm a polearm kind of guy, but it sounds cool. There's, there's eyes in there. Can I smash this yet? Oh yeah, I can. Okay. You can see it, it does damage my weapon though as I smash the thing, but you can smash walls and, and carve through them if you wish. You look like me. Oh, surely I can. Surely I can butcher you. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Ah, oh, no corpse. No corpse. Where did he go? All right, fine. I don't want your ranged weapons. I don't get your, I care about your shield either. I'm going to just uh, turn you into experience. You level up in no time this time. Ow! More eyes in that tree. Hello. Guess if we need power, we can always do that as well. That's just because, I guess, from being cleric. Um, this is all also new as well. A fortune cookie? Can I eat that? Eat it? Where is it? Uh, I think I do it this way. Um, drink? No? Hmm. Okay, more boots. Take that, dog. Okay, um... Ooh, what are you? Potion of carrot juice. I'll take it. Uh, there's, we have the, the... We have the stair... Ow! Stair down nearby. Oh, I did it again. Uh, nearby, so we should go do that. I'll heal up as I'm walking this way. Hey, buddy. Mm, that's a little like hurt. Uh, I will uh, just turn you into some, some experience. And then I think we're going to jump down to the next level. Is that a wall there? I'm curious. I haven't actually ever done this. But let me take out this axe. I want to break up my, uh, my, my spear. So I'm going to break this axe and then... I'm going to hit the wall. Can I attack the wall? Maybe the axe isn't good enough for that? Hmm. Alright. Alright. Maybe we got to get something... Maybe something a little bit cooler? Like a, um... Hmm, nothing to be better than that. A, a mace, maybe? Let's try a mace. Nope. Take that. Get out of my place. Alright, fine, fine. There's ways of hacking through the wall. But not today. Alright, uh, down we go. Let's, um... Hobble on down the stairs to level 2. And we'll see if we can... 
my only goal is really ooh, is to strap something onto my body. Is this a bedroom? What is that? A fire beetle. Uh, speaking of fire, anything other than bark skin? No, I just have the. I think. Yeah, sure, all bark skin. Why that hurt a lot? Okay, okay. Ow! <laughs> Man, that hurt a lot. Uh, I think I'll drink this potion. Don't coat. No, don't coat them. Just drink this. Uh, what's carrot juice do for me? I'll drink it. Tastes like par carrot juice. Well, yeah, I guess it should. Uh, all right, let's drink some healing essence. There we go. Okay, let's go back down. What a mean fire beetle. Take that. You mean... Ooh. What is this guy? Bugbear. There we go. We got him. Ooh, some thick leather furs. Plus two defense. Nice shield there. Uh, what do I got right now? Mine are... Oh, mine are six protection. Two, minus two defense. Is that what that's trying to tell me? Those are large, though. Okay, uh, we'll just turn them into experience. Oh, we leveled up. Uh, I didn't actually level up myself before, so let's go do that. Okay, so I got points to spend. Let's go and put things into... I still got the protection domain, I think. We'll put more defense in on me. And... I'll take that one. Sure, sure. Um, and then... I'm, I'm leaning towards getting that cure wound spell. Let's go ahead and pick that up. Just to have it. Uh, and then we've got a couple more martial ones. I'm going to put it into pole arms again. Cannot be disarmed while wielding a pole arm. That sounds good. Better hit chance. And then... I'll take the damage bonus. Scavenging. More gold. More loot. More items and chests. Um, mm, jump range. We'll just take the armor. Okay, anything else? We've got two more for everything. Uh, there's hydromancy, blunt weapons, plant domain. Um, I think I'm just going to throw it in the pole arms. 2% has to trip somebody. Sure. And then I must learn uh, that's preemptive. Take a step back. Nope. Um, I'll take this one. Give me this part. Sure. That's fine. Okay. What are you? Oh, I see. Corruption thing. So corruption is the thing over here. I didn't actually point this out too well. Um, hit points, mana, or power points. Experience points over there. We got satiation. There's no hunger in the game, I don't think yet. Yeah, not yet. And then corruption points, which isn't in the game yet either. Um, we turned in all that stuff over there as well. There's my inventory limit on this side and all my stats over there, which you probably saw. What do you do? Nothing? All right. Let's take a look. Oh, there's a bed over there. Where's all these these uh these monsters at? Oh, a secret door. Hey, buddy. Okay, what you got? Some ugly clothes. Uh, I do have a body. I mean, I guess we can hack hack. Oh, I gotta pick them up. Let's butcher them up. Yep. Hopefully, we can find something that can go. Too delicate given my skill level. So I'm just not good enough to throw these things on my body. Seems to be the problem. Too delicate. I think it's just because it's, it's goblin and I'm not good at it. I'm going to try to cast a spell, see what happens. I want to grant graft stuff. No, no, no body parts. Alright, alright. Fine. I don't know where the corpses are going normally. We're killing all these guys. What, are we just destroying them so there's no corpse left behind? Look, there's clearly a wall over there, too. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't, need, I don't need the meat. Ouch! Take that, you... Cobalt. eagerly awaiting a, a corpse to fall on the ground so I can throw it on my body. Hit the guy. Come on, hit the guy! I'm so bad at hitting things. Alright, you know what? Got him. 
What is that? A large ration. You know those mean bugs? What are you? Ant worker. Okay. Uh, what else we got in here? Anything of, of interest? Not really. Short sword. Um, I guess we can take a ration if we wanted to. There's a rune. We do want that. Minor rune of accuracy. I do want that. In fact, I'd like to put that onto my, my spear, I think. Sure. Yeah, that sounds like a thing to have. And we'll just gobble these things up. What is this? As you try to enter the tunnel, you notice that magical runes have been applied to the passage. Upon your approach, they start to glow with an intense energy, which spreads throughout the surrounding rock. Cracks appear, and within a split second, the tunnel's ceiling collapses, burying the passage under tons of rocks. I barely escaped a disaster. All right, fine. Give me that my one experience point. Okay. Uh, we can also... I didn't do this, but auto-explore is a thing as well. Where are you? I've seen you before, right? Yeah, right. Okay, you got a fancy cloak, hat, which I have a hat, right? I got an iron hat. I don't have any eyewear, necklaces, rings, bracers. I'm missing all kinds of things. So I will take all that. Let's auto explore again. Ow. Corruption. Ow. Wow. Do you got cash? I'll take it. Oh, hello. Ah. Oh. <laughs> not me. I'm not the only one. Thick leather furs, a large iron hammer. That sounds exciting. More goblin corpses. Throw that bark skin on me. We can also heal, of course, if we need it. Trap master, come on. Die already. There we go. Alright, give me that. Uh, nothing there. I guess I could put a sling if I wanted to, but nah. Uh, a new spear, but I've got an iron spear, so that's not going to do me any good. I did it again. Um, yeah, a goblin corpse. Might actually be better. I'm not sure if it's actually wiser to chop them up, because I get more experience points. But oh well. No, no, don't do that! I saw the thing on the ground. I wanted to go pick it up again. Ah! I think traps. Ah! <laughs> the worst room ever. Hey, doggy. Sorry, doggy. Oh, man, there's traps everywhere. Ooh, down a level? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Going down. Okay. Level three. Stock in the dungeon. This is Ultimate Adam. Caverns of Chaos. It is out now. There's a link below to the Steam page. And thanks for watching. Um, oh, look at this guy. I'm going to hack this guy up real quick. As best I can. Can I, um... I hope I had something different, but I don't. Barkstein is faded, so let's go put that back on. Take that. Did you leave your body behind for me? Cobalt Chieftain Corpse. Hang on, this might be it. Oh, check that out. Mithril Chain Shirt. I'll take it. I will take your body as well. Nice iron warhammer there also. Uh, I'm going to butcher you up right now. Yep. All of it. Do it. Too delicate. Let's see. Let's just see if we can do it here. As body parts are flying around. A little uh, unpleasant. Okay. Let's go and... Anything? No, no body. No suitable body parts. A scourge. Hmm. I can go down. Oh, is the next level go down again? Let's do it. Or oh, we're into the video here, but I just, boy, I just want to charge down just to see some things. I'm assuming the big part is probably just needing to know how to do it. I probably, when I leveled up, I probably should have put some more points into the grafting. I want to strap on another arm. Or two. Or five. There's level four right there. Um, anyway, I got to put a cut here. I'm going to call it a day. Uh, if you want to see more of this, let me know. We may continue this on. But for now, we're going to end it. And, um, well, thanks for watching. Again, this is on Steam. There's a link below to the, uh, the, the Steam page. And, uh, thanks again to, um, 
the dev and, and the publisher for sponsoring this video. Ooh, I'll see you next time.